This video is on EER model. Before you press forward with the EER model explanation, if you haven't seen the ER model explanation, go ahead and check that video out in my description below. ER is the building block for the EER model. EER or Enhanced Entity Relationship Model is an extension of the ER model and simply adds three new data modeling concepts, which are specialization, categorization, and aggregation. So specialization is simply breaking down entity types into its subclasses. For example, artist entity type can be broken down into musician entity type and painter entity type. And this process can be considered is a breakdown. Since painter and musician is an artist, but the opposite doesn't really apply since not all artist is a singer or a painter. Let's look at the diagram as shown. First, we have vehicle entity type. It has the attribute types, color, type, and engine. And you could see that is it is broken down into three different entity types, scooter, car, and truck. Those three entity types will inherit the attribute types of the superclass. The bottom three is considered subclasses because scooter, car, and truck belong to a vehicle entity type. Attribute types that are specific to subclasses can be attached to that entity type. But if there's attribute type that all shares, then it can go to the superclass entity type since subclass will inherit it. The reverse process of specialization is called generalization. So going from singer to an artist entity type. Simply think of specialization as top-down approach and generalization as a down-up approach. This is shown in the EER model with the circle and curve line pointing towards the subclasses from the superclass. The specialization can be further qualified by disjointness and completeness constraints where disjointness specifies what subclasses an entity of the superclass can belong to, while completeness constraint indicates whether all entities of the superclass should belong to one of the subclasses or not. Once again, the entity at the very top is the superclass. Anything that falls under it will be subclass. Now let's get into disjointness. Disjointness can be either disjoint or overlap, and it is marked inside the circle as either D or O, and it is what defines subclasses the superclass can belong to. Disjoint means the superclass entity can be member of at most one of the superclass. Fuck. Disjoint means the superclass entity can be a member of at most one of the subclasses and no more, while overlap means it can be multiple. For example, if artist superclass entity type can only be either singer or an actor, it is disjoint. While if it can be both, it is considered overlap. Now let's talk about the completeness constraint, which goes under the superclass as either T or P, total and partial. Partial allows entity to only belong to the superclass and doesn't have to belong to any of the subclass. And total means every entity in the superclass must be a member of some subclass that's shown in the model. For example, total will state that artist must be either singer or an actor entity type if those two are the only subclass entity types that is shown in the model. If it says partial, and there's same two entity types, it is saying that it doesn't need to be either the singer or an actor and can belong to just superclass artist entity type as there may be other entity type that hasn't been written out yet like the painter entity type. This will give you four combinations to utilize, disjoint and total, disjoint and partial, overlap and total, and overlap and partial. All right, let's take a look at this diagram one more time. We have the vehicle superclass at the top, and at the bottom, we have three subclasses, entity types, scooter, car, and truck. So we have P for partial. Now this is a completeness constraint. It's gonna either be T or P. Partial allows entity to only belong to the superclass and to none of the subclasses. Vehicle can belong to scooter, car, or truck, but it doesn't need to. This is why there's P on there. If it was T for total specialization, Every entity in the superclass must be member of some subclass. So any entities within vehicle has to be scooter, car, or truck. Then we have the circle that has the D. This is the disjointness constraint. It could be either D or O. Once again, disjoint means entity can be a member of at most one of the subclasses. Overlap or O means it could be multiple. So the entity in a vehicle can belong to either scooter, car, or a truck. If it was overlap, which should be, it means it could be multiple entities of the subclasses. So vehicle can technically be a car and a truck. So instead of putting D, this should have been an O. Let's talk about the second concept that's added in EER, which is categorization. 
all categorization is represented in this circle with U for union. Categorization is basically subclass with multiple superclasses. Instead of superclass having multiple subclasses like specialization, categorization is the opposite that allows subclasses to belong to multiple superclasses. Once again, subclass will inherit the attributes and relationships of superclass that it belongs to. Categorization can be either partial or total, where entities of superclasses can either not belong to the subclass or all entities of the superclasses can belong to the subclasses. Partial means not all entities belong to the subclass, while total means all superclasses belong to the subclass. The curved line is denoted below the union circle and faces towards the subclass to denote this. Let's take a look at this example. We have person entity superclass and company entity superclass types. Below it, we have the subclass account holder. Account holder can belong to both the superclass person and the company. And you can see it being denoted using the circle with the U. Lastly, we have the aggregation concept, where particular relationship types are combined into a higher entity type. ER isn't able to represent relationship between entities and a relationship properly. So at times, aggregation is utilized to represent relationships at higher level entity sets. For example, an employee that works on a project is an entity that has been aggregated because they have their own relationship with machinery. Not all employee needs relationship with the machinery.